Well, I hope you've left room for dessert. Dessert and all. I should run away more often. When I say run away, I mean... Um... There's no need to explain. Unless you want to talk, in which case I'm more than happy to listen. No, you don't need my problems. Then I won't pry. Thanks. But m might I just inquire as to where you intend to go? I'm still deciding. But do you have arranged somewhere to stay tonight? No, not yet. I just know I can't go back to Max's. Well, I think perhaps we should book you a B and B. Can't afford that. Naturally, I'd cover the cost. I'm not taking your money. All right. In which case, we have reached an impasse because I won't allow you to sleep rough. Well, I've done it before. Right, fine. What's your solution? That you remain here. Tonight. You want me to stay? I want you to be safe, Lauren. Of course, the decision is entirely yours. After all, my motivation is selfish. I don't follow. How is it selfish? I don't want to lose a night's sleep out of concern for your whereabouts. Right, OK, fine. But only cos I don't want you to worry. And you have my gratitude. Right, I've made up the sofa. There's fresh towels and you're welcome to take a bath or a shower. Oh, love a hot bath, me. Well, indulge yourself. Is there anything else you need? No, I'm, I'm good. As I, I'm quite happy to go and collect your things. I don't want Max to know where I am. He'll be worried. You don't care about me. Well, even if that is true, I'm sure it's not the case with Shona. Can I at least text her? I said no. As you wish. Sorry. But honestly, you've done enough. Think nothing of it. No. You've been so kind and... Now I'm even taking you so far. <laughs> I offered it. There is a distinct and important difference. You don't want anything in return. Well, I... I would ask you to reconsider your decision to resign. What else? <laughs> Ensuring your well-being is payment enough. Oh, and what about your well-being? You're lonely, aren't you? I, I, I'm not sure I'm following your train of thought. What I mean is... If you've got needs, I, I don't mind helping. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You're angry at me. You just caught me by surprise. Talk about mortifying. Oh, Roy, I'm so sorry. Lauren, you, you don't need to keep apologising. But the, 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 there is something that I, I need to understand. I mean, what prompted... No. Did I do or say anything which may have led you to believe that I was expecting you. No. Are you certain? A hundred percent. Then I, I, I feel I must ask, why would you make such an offer? <laughs> you are kidding me, right? No, I'm, I'm perfectly serious. Nothing is for nothing in this world. Especially when it comes to men. I 
I'm sorry that's your experience. It's not just my experience. But, but you're different. And I know that. It was just like, oh, Mike. If that makes sense. Sadly, it does. Are we OK? Of course. However, uh, I feel it might be prudent if uh, I organise alternative sleeping arrangements for this evening. You're kicking me out? I most certainly am not. If you will allow me, I'll call my friend Carla. She only lives close by. Can I have a glass of water first, please? I just still feel a bit, you know... I understand. Yeah, I assure you, Carla, make you very welcome. Lauren? 